Hey guys, this is Coco Hodo, and welcome to my Linux coffee shop here in Amsterdam, because someone needs to be very stoned to make such mistakes. On this video I'm showing the blank spots features on Shell New Paging for 338 release, that I had missed before, so that was mistake 1. And then I say that this has been merged on master, which was mistake 2. I accidentally had installed this branch on USR local, so it was overriding my actual shell installation from master, and I was so excited for that I didn't even check on commits. It happens when you're uploading at 4 in the morning, but I'm very optimistic it will get on master anyway. Earlier same day I also posted this, which is work in progress for a major redesign of shell calendar. This is a Google Summer of Code project by Mariana and Florian as a mentor. This mockup is one year old, but the design concept still applies. The major changes is that we first have notifications grouping, which is a highly requested feature. For example, Polari says it has two more messages, so if we click the arrow it will expand to show them. The second major change is that calendar events were moved to the right side, and moreover we can close all these boxes from the arrows, which is a super nice touch. This is what we currently have on GNOME 336, at least I think, because I'm not sure for anything anymore. So if we click on a date that has events, we get the calendar notifications on the left side. And let me quickly spam some more notifications. Now if we reopen the calendar we will get this thing, which is like a wide stripe coming out of the middle of our desktop. And I must say while this thing is super ugly, it is way more practical than other desktops that use a right sidebar. And it is more practical for two reasons. First of, coming from the center gives better focus. And second, it displays all information in a single page without need to switch with annoying tabs. If I click on a day with events, the events will appear on left side, and the notifications will disappear. I don't really know how that thing works, because I'm not actually using it. And to be honest I doubt if many are using it anyway, because the content design is a mess. But then again this video is about asking your opinions, so please go in comments. That's some early work from Mariana, and please don't write anything bad on that, because I take the blame for demo work in progress that might never come to production. So, the first change comes from notification bubbles, that now display the application name next to the icon, which also make them more fat. But the first major change is that events have moved to the right side, and that change is basically already on master by Florian. About that weird scroll? It is actually a bug, so keep in mind that lots of things are under progress. We can now close and open boxes, and the mnemonics should be stored on our last action. The weather widget now displays a single time instead of the full day, perhaps because they wanted to fit the clear sky message? Now, if we suppose we have more notifications, then let me do some spam again. So now if we go to events, we'll see that we don't need to scroll them anymore. So, that's definitely is something to get fixed. Oh, and I guess this time we should be able to open calendar app by clicking on an event. So that was everything for now, forgive my mistakes, and I'm out! Mom!